What's up guys, Hong Lee and OG Fitness. I got a good one for you guys today. In this video, I'm not gonna answer a question from one of you guys, right? I've been doing that lately. When you guys send me questions, I'm gonna make it a priority to answer your questions, you know, instead of just like talking about random stuff that I enjoy talking about. It's not really random, it's always related to fitness and martial arts, but I definitely want to uh, make it a point to answer all your questions. Okay, in this video, this is a good one, guys. I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, so I'm gonna need uh, some of you guys to, uh, to back me up. And hey, if you disagree, you disagree, that's okay, that's what we're here about. Calling names to a certain extent, like you're an idiot, you're a moron, uh, okay, it passes. But when you say stuff, I believe that you have to be able to say it in front of the person's face too. That's why a lot of the times uh, when I read comments, I'm like, yeah, you know, this guy's just being you know, a troll. And uh, it's not something that uh, a normal person would say in front of somebody else. Okay, DKU, why I got beef with this guy. Now, I recently watched a video. It was an interview on Valuetainment with Patrick Bet David. He's a uh, YouTuber, uh, big, big YouTuber, right? Has a channel on entrepreneurship and all that and makes all kinds of fun interviews with athletes, with uh, gangsters, with politicians, economists, and all kinds of uh, fun stuff. And he talks a lot about, of course, entrepreneurship and all that. So DK, yo, I've seen this guy a little bit floating around uh, on YouTube and you know, he seems like a, a guy who um, you know does like self-defense stuff. I think he has his own company called WCS, uh, something like Warfare Combat System. Yeah, so he, he teaches martial arts, he does seminars and all that. And you know, he does a lot of like, it, 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 it's like self-defense combative stuff, you know? So in this interview, check this out. This guy is my age, he's like 40 something, 41, 42. You know, and I'm also 41, guys. Heavily influenced by Bruce Lee, was inspired by him to essentially, uh, you know, go into uh, martial arts and learning martial arts and becoming, you know, a martial artist and who I am today and all that. This guy in the interview, he's my age. And uh, Patrick asks him, like, okay, who did you learn from? And this guy would not admit, you know, and Patrick kept on asking the questions in different ways without saying Bruce's name, like who were you influenced, who did you learn from, who were you watching, because you know, DKU is from uh, uh, South Korea. So, and he would evade and never bring up Bruce's name until at one point Patrick had to ask him, Bruce Lee, you're compared a lot to him, what do you think, blah, 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 blah. He's like, nope. And this is what he has to say, and, and that this is my beef with him. So my beef with him is that I think he's dishonest regarding not being inspired by Bruce and not discovering Bruce until he was like 20, 25. That's insane, because we're the same age. So that would mean, that would be 1995. You didn't hear about Bruce Lee until 1995? When asked like, where did he learn? Who inspired him? He's like, oh yeah, my grandfather taught me some shit. Uh, you know, he was, uh, he was in the police, so he knew some shit. And then I essentially learned everything myself because uh, I'm a goddamn genius. In all fairness, he had a translator. So maybe the, it, a lot of things were lost in translation. Essentially, what the translator said, no, I didn't learn from anybody. You know, my grandfather taught me some shit, taught me a little bit of meditation. Then after that, like, yeah, I went and I, I did a lot of street fighting. I got multiple stab wounds, trained with some guys. But I, I essentially discovered athletes like Floyd Mayweather, Macy, Ronaldo. I'm interested in, uh, in uh, uh, the mechanisms of speed and I just, the deep down subconscious, there's three layers and blah, 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 blah. And essentially he's saying he made this shit up. And I studied Buddha and Aristotle and this uh, Chinese general. I'm like, no freaking way. No freaking way did you come up with stuff. Impossible. Nobody learns from, nobody just makes up stuff like that. It's impossible, man. It's, it's literally, what are you, you're like Jesus? You're Buddha? You're like, I got a big issue with that. I think that he's very dishonest regarding that. And then I'm like, okay. More specifically, I wanted to see if there was actually any sparring footage of him. When I found like two videos of him sparring, uh, like he was, he was sparring and he's just, he, he, in my opinion, he's, uh, he does have of course some, some natural athletic ability, but he, he's not good. He's not good at all. Square stance like this, he has his hands down and he's jabbing guys. And the thing is when he's jabbing guys, the guys are a lot shorter than him. They're all a lot shorter and they suck. They suck even worse than him. So of course he's just jabbing him. He can get away with you know stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, low level, uh, he can't really fight. And then when he does his demonstrations, it's very easy to demonstrate 
on somebody who's not defending. And of course, if there are a bunch of, bunch of losers who just stand there and get hit because of a demonstration, I mean, it's, it's just not right. And also when you stand square, like when he does his one inch punch, and, and this is something uh, I believe even is, is, is essentially like a BS because if somebody is standing square, that means his two, like you guys don't see my feet, but if my feet are like this and you push me back, I'm falling on my ass. You don't need to one inch punch. I could just, just touch you like this with one finger. I believe he's full of it in the sense that he's lying about not being inspired by Bruce Lee. And I understand he's trying to make up his brand, his own stuff like that, but I don't think it's the way to do it, man, in the martial art world. Like you shouldn't uh, lie like that. Uh, so that's what, that's what aggravated me. Uh, that's what triggered me. Not mad, I don't get mad at this point anymore. Uh, Cause you know, hey, when you get old, you, you mature a little bit. To me, that's like, okay, no man, that's bullshit. You know, because you're, you're trying to, you're saying you didn't hear about Bruce Lee, didn't have any influence and you came, no. And then after that, you look at like uh, his actual uh, stuff that he does. Yeah, he's, he has fast hands and it's all, like, uh, uh, all works in theory. It, it, it wouldn't work, you know, really. And the ultimate footage, the ultimate thing is the footage when he spars. When you look at the, uh, the, the sparring footage, you know this guy can't fight. Anybody who knows how to fight, who's a trained fighter, not just a guy who fights a lot in the street. You could fight a lot in the street and you could still get your ass kicked by somebody who, who's trained in fighting, in actual fighting, like MMA style. The guys he did fight, the two guys, it's like these little, uh, he picked guys who are smaller than him and who don't know how to fight so he can make them look silly, so he can make himself look better. So I don't agree with that. I don't think that's cool. And then when you see his demonstrations, it's like, it's essentially abuse. He's like taking these, these little punks, you know, his followers or whatever, uh, who, who unfortunately believe in what he's doing. And he's just slapping around, doing all kinds of stuff. And zero legit, this guy, zero legit. And uh, it's unfortunate, but that's what it, what it is. So on another note, I want to share with you guys some, some interesting news. And I think I mentioned this in an, another little video already, but I'll just keep repeating it until one day it happens. What I promise you guys is that when, when the time comes, and I'm able to, and I can train again at my club, I'm going to film my trainings and my sparrings, all the good, the bad, the ugly, so that you guys could, uh, obviously some of you guys here have more experience than me, you guys could help me out, show me how it's done, correct some stuff, you know? And of course you could see my progression, you could come along on the journey, in my grappling journey and also in my striking journey. And if I get like, a, I'm not shy about like, let's say if I, if I in judo or, or even in BJJ, if I get submitted or I get thrown in, in a sparring, I get like kicked in the head and get knocked out. I mean, it's gonna be there for you guys to see. I believe in uh, being honest about what you put out there and not just putting out the like, oh, like the amazing shit that you get away with, that, that you're, you know, like no, but there's a lot of failures that come along. When there's no footage of anybody's, uh, this guy sparring, uh, this guy in competition or this guy, you know, like, cause it's very easy to say, yeah, I'm a street fighter. You know, I got a thousand fights under my belt. A thousand, okay, um, this is not a thousand, but I don't know. Let's say this, a thousand fights, a thousand fights. And they weren't filmed and you know, it's uh, no one can prove it. You know, I don't really have anything against the guy. I just have something regarding those couple of things there. Essentially, I think he's, uh, I'm not saying he doesn't have some kind of skill. Obviously he does, fast hands, you know, reaction time. He's a little bit athletic, but he's not a trained fighter. He can't fight. I would beat him in a, I'd beat him in a second. You guys will see, you guys will see one day. I actually have skill, you know? Maybe I could challenge some of these YouTubers, man, to MMA match, you know?